Star date, August 4th, 2024. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. And I am been up about 3.30. <clears throat> I've been packed and ready to go. In the truck, ready to go to the airport. And I said I wanted to leave by 4.30. I'm ready, just waiting on the ladies. As we get ready to embark on this trip to California, it's rained most of the night. It's humid as could be. It's hot. I can't wait to get to training camp. Check out the Cowboys tomorrow's practice. And spend some time with my family. This will be a fun trip. A busy trip. A work trip. And um, hopefully you guys... We want to come along. There's a few things that I'm new to out here. Um, I am still, I'm still old school where I like paper. I like to have something in my hand. But when I got all the tickets, all the tickets are, you know, bought them online, um, you know, registered and all that. And I have to have the app for the airline. So all of the boarding pass and everything are in my phone. It's kind of like, uh, my game tickets one year we had the tickets on the phone and the wi-fi wasn't working at fedex go figure the stadium is trash why would the wi-fi work and i'm up here with all these tickets on my phone and my phone is not picking up a signal to actually be able to put them out there because it has to connect directly you can't just have a screenshot of it it won't work so i'm a little apprehensive about that because like i'm used to handing my id and a piece of paper. But I ain't got that. So, there'll be that. Um, you know, there's a life cycle with the Dallas Cowboys. At least this has been the case for the last three years. The Cowboys lose in the playoffs. They get You get beat in your head that the team sucks. And that they don't care about winning. That the Joneses are screwing them up. And, you know, there's always the brand new flavor of that. There's always the hot quarterback that everybody says is better than Dak Prescott. And we've seen Deshaun Watson. We've seen Carson Wentz. We've heard um, Kyler Murray, um, Justin Herbert. You know, the list goes down the line because they always say, well, Dak Prescott isn't as good as blah, blah, blah. Now this year it's Jordan Love and so on. We hear that the Cowboys won't win anything because they're not going out there getting the players and they let these free agents go and they always have too many people that the draft picks that they do stink and uh, aren't going to help the team. And they pound it in your head so much that you get depressed. You get depressed listening and thinking about how the Cowboys season is going to go. They pound onto you things that happen around the NFL but they make you think that only these things happen to the Cowboys. That, you know, the Cowboys lost this player and that player, and they got a hole here and a hole there. You know, and they, they, they tell you about all the other teams that are going to be great. You know, they tell you that the Eagles, oh, my God, the Eagles, their their team is, they're going to win the division. They're great. And don't remind you about their linebacker issue or the secondary issue that's going to be really, really young or that they've got <clears throat> two new coordinators and things. But they beat in your head that you've got no chance against those teams. And this year has been an overdrive of pounding in our head that we suck. And Cowboy fans seem to have taken note and are following along where they're basically like, oh, Cowboys, and they're pissed off. And rightfully so. You know, that the team needs to blow it up. And, of course, Jerry Jones doesn't help any because, you know, here it is. They haven't done any contracts, so, you know, you've got the players and everybody else are constantly talking about the contracts and whether or not they're going to get done. You don't have your star player in camp. This stuff just gets to be crazy. But lo and behold, it seems like the Cowboys, I know you won't agree with it because they don't have the playoff success, 
If you were to equate everything negative that they said about the Dallas Cowboys, you would think that they were the worst team in football. That they're going to be 4-13. and 13. But lo and behold, that team is always better than advertised. That team always seems to find some guys that play better than what people thought they were. They find some guys that nobody knows their name. And they become a team that plays really well, that gets you hyped up. The thing that kills you about it is that's what the Cowboys do so well is get so much talent through the draft and through the bottom tier that if they were just I said this yesterday in my I'm sorry I said this yesterday I said if the Cowboys were to take what they do with Will McClay with the moves that Howie Roseman does as far as bringing in talent through free agency because they don't draft that good contrary to popular belief the Eagles are not a great drafting team they make up for it by free agency if you were to combine those two elements together you'd win every Super Bowl you'd have more talent than anybody else and that's the truth that is the truth Ruth so I need to go in here and put a foot in people's behind so we don't miss the flight. I'll be back. We got a six pack of beer, half a pack of cigarettes, and we headed for California. are here and look the sun's about to come up this is it good people we're on our way hope y'all have a uh, great morning probably see you on the other side can't wait to get there man this airport is an adventure to say the least <laughs> 